Hey, what's going on guys? My name is CarQ, and today I'm going to bring you 10 underrated combos you should try in your Overwatch 2 games. Brought to you by the MSI GE76 Raider, powered by the 12th gen Intel Core i9 processor, along with a giveaway of this very device to my Canadian viewers only, but more on that later in the video. The first combo we have is called the Icicle Spear, which uses the Orisa Energy Javelin plus the Maywall. Wait, the synergy? Normally, an energy javelin deals 60 damage, but deals a bonus 40 damage if the target hits a wall for a total of 100 damage, plus they get stunned. If an enemy peeks and there isn't a nearby wall, just make your own and punish their positioning. The second combo is what I like to call the Australian Trebuchet. Enemies pulled by Jagged Blade usually come in a straight line in front of her. However, if you're on a much lower elevation than the enemy, they will be pulled farther and sometimes over your head. This Aussie trebuchet combo takes advantage of that in which you first need to have a Junkrat trap set up behind Junker Queen. In order for the blade to pull the enemy over Junker Queen's head, you need to stand at the lowest point in elevation and in this example, it's this minor ramp on the road. Once you go for the pull, another quick tip is to crouch to lower your hitbox and increase the chances of the enemy flying over your head into your team and hopefully into the Junkrat trap. This combo deals over 80 damage on the direct hit with the knife, 15 damage on the bleed, and 100 damage if they get stuck on the trap for a total of 195 damage and can be useful for confirming kills on slippery heroes like Reaper who would otherwise wraith away. This next one is called Terra Bomb, which is an insanely strong combo if you can pull it off. Start by charging up Orisa's ultimate, which can now be ramped up to 500 damage as of the latest beta patch. As Orisa's building up damage, have a friendly Symmetra set up a teleporter straight into the enemy's position, and then have the Orisa teleport and unleash the explosion. This actually has decent practicality because you can ideally start ramping up the Orisa damage in a safe position out of enemy line of sight. It's important, however, for the Symmetra to set up the teleporter in range of the Orisa because the Orisa is stationary and cannot move. This next combo is what I like to call the Queen's Gambit, which consists of Junker Queen utilizing Symmetra's TP as she's using Rampage, her ultimate. This combo has three fantastic benefits. One, you can extend the effective range of Junker Queen's ult by starting the ultimate before and TPing mid animation. 2. You can bypass natural cover that would otherwise block you, and 3. The enemies would not be expecting it, and that makes it nearly impossible to stun cancel Junker Queen out of it. There's really not much counterplay to this, and it's pretty hard to mess up because we know the range of Junker Queen's ult is kinda BS. I mean, come on, look at this. That's quite big. The entire half of this point is covered in this example, like both Widow and Ana are on the far ends here and they're actually anti it's ridiculous. The fifth combo of the video is called the Suck and Stuck. One of the biggest strengths of Orisa's new reworked ultimate is that it instantly pulls everyone to her without delay. And that's why for this combo, Tracer should go for the Pulse Bomb first. If you hear the sound and someone is stuck, instantly use the Orisa ult to pull everyone together so that they all take the explosion damage then use the remaining Orisa ult ramp up damage to clean up anybody who survived the initial boom boom. This combo is underrated because you can also use it to fix a bad pulse bomb. So let's say the tracer whiffs the pulse bomb and sticks the floor, it's all good, it happens. So what you want to do on Orisa is immediately ult to pull enemies as close as possible to the missed bomb to still capitalize on the damage. Before we get into the next combo, I have to mention our sponsor, Intel, who has kindly offered to give away this MSI GE76 Raider UHS gaming laptop. I showed it off on stream, it's legit and an absolute beast of a device, with a 12th gen i9-12900HK CPU, an NVIDIA RTX 3080 Ti graphics card, and a 120Hz IPS level panel at a 4K resolution. This giveaway is for Canadian citizens and residents only, excluding Quebec, and to enter, I need you guys to leave a comment with an Overwatch 2 hero or ability combo you've tried or are looking to pull off, and ensure your YouTube comment notifications are on, because I will respond to your comment if you were chosen as the winner. Back to the video. For combo number six, I like to call this one the ball rails. Yes, it's exactly as the name implies. 
It of course has everything to do with Wrecking Ball and his pile drive. With the addition of Sojourn to the game, sit on a full charge or just pop your ultimate as Ball is going in for a slam, line it up and get an easy headshot when the enemies get knocked up in a predictable vertical pattern. A major perk of this combo is that it helps bypass a pesky Sigma shield in that specific matchup. When I was a young boy, my father took me into the city to see a marching band. And that's right, combo number seven is using the Orisa Javelin Spin while a Lucio amps the speed boost, just like a marching band. Orisa's Javelin Spin Knockback is a fantastic tool to push enemies off the map, but sometimes it doesn't go far enough. And that's why comboing it with Lucio's speed boost can help increase the distance she can cover, and is probably a unique combo you didn't really think about until now, eh? It's kind of cool. The eighth combo here is called the Supernova, an amplified version of Sombra's EMP using Ana's Nano Boost. For a while, the only percent damage ability in the game was Sigma and his Gravitic Flux, which deals 50% of a target's maximum health. This percent based damage cannot be amplified. However, Sombra's new reworked EMP deals 40% of a target's current health, not maximum health. This means you can amplify it, and with Ana's Nano Boost, the boosted teammate deals 50% more damage. That means EMP now deals 60% of a target's current health, which makes this an unbelievably powerful initiation combo. You also have to factor in that all targets become hacked after being EMP'd, and hacked targets take 40% more damage from Sombra, making it an easy cleanup and free play of the game every time. Now, no, 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 no. This next combo is called the prenup and is a more defensive oriented combo. This is where your Ana uses her Biotic Grenade on a Junker Queen just before she ults in with Rampage in order to give Junker Queen a 50% healing buff, allowing her to wound and heal more health from the enemies. Junker Queen normally heals 100 health per target hit, so you can see we're starting off at 5 HP, we hit 2 targets, 205 HP. Now here's a pre-nade from Ana, which bumps Junker Queen's HP back to 105 because 100 flat from the nade, then the Rampage ult, and now we're at 360 HP, a net 255 HP gain and a slight increase from before. You may be thinking, why not save the nade and throw it in after Junker Queen initiates? Well, the anti-effect from Junker Queen's ultimate already lasts nearly 5 seconds, and it kind of feels a bit redundant to stack it again. Plus, enemies will likely be more spread out after being hit, and in a real game situation, Junker Queen will be way deeper in enemy lines, making it harder to land a decent grenade. So this is kind of like a relatively safe option to keep your Junker Queen healthy, and it's just an interesting combo to think about, that's all. Listen, I don't even have a unique name for this, but the Toronto Defiant pulled off a three hero combo to open up the attacking side of this match, and I thought I would feature it here. Oh, oh, my. Start this combo with Hanzo using Sonic Arrow to scan this commonly held defensive position. Roadhog and the rest of the team should start up top and use this sonar to hopefully catch an aggressive peek from the enemy. In this case, it was the Doomfist, and ensure your other DPS is on Bastion for the highest burst DPS possible to clean them up once they get hooked. It's honestly a great play and a great combo. And that's it for the combos. Remember to both subscribe and leave a comment with an Overwatch 2 hero or ability combo you've tried or are looking to pull off, and ensure your YouTube comment notifications are on because I will respond to your comment if you were chosen as a winner for the MSI GE76 Raider laptop. Remember, you must be Canadian for the specific giveaway as it's from Intel Canada. Thanks, y'all.